Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a completely different kind of video. Um, this order came in today and I was just gonna pull it out and put it away and like I've done on other occasions when this uh, company has sent me stuff um, that I purchased, not that they sent me stuff. Um, but you know, I was like, I think I'm gonna do a video. Why not, right? If it's something that you're interested in, great. If not, that's fine too. Um, but if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know that I originally started trying to get vendor wax because I was looking for coffee scents. I wanted some more coffee scents. I have a bunch of coffee scents now. And if you've gathered from my videos, I am somewhat obsessed with coffee <laughs> i guess as a you know for lack of a better way of putting it so i had a coffee order that came in today and um it's the one company that i do enjoy purchasing from my coffee it's a company called pj's which as far as i know originated in new orleans uh, i do believe it did so i am from the new orleans area originally i live in houston area now in texas but i am still a louisiana girl i'll always be a louisiana girl and my husband is also from new orleans so well not born there but grew up there so i thought i'd share with you let's see i don't want to do the address part my box that came in from pj's i did open it up to get all the peanuts out that were in it and unfortunately they had a they had a big I'd say a big sale. They had 30% uh, off of everything. And I had picked up a couple of t-shirts and some coffee the last time they had the 30% off. I that's when I usually like to try to go in there and purchase is when they have a sale. Well, I went I tried to get my husband the same t-shirt that I had gotten last time, but he was like, "I think I need the extra large." Yeah. It's crossed off on the packing slip and it says credit so sorry larry no no such luck on that t-shirt in the extra large we're both doing keto so they're short sleeve t-shirts so i would venture to guess that it will be just fine it's probably just fine now he probably feel like it's a little too snug for him but um i bet you it would fit and if not it'll definitely fit by probably by the, let's see, we're almost the beginning of October now. So I would venture to guess that by December, Larry, you, yeah. <laughs> Men always tend to tend to lose faster than women. So I'm gonna go through what I got. I'm gonna show you the t-shirt that he didn't get because I, what I did is I went and grabbed the ones that I got the last time. And so just so that you could see them for those, I know that there's some people that are from Louisiana here and I don't know if you've ever done PJs. I love PJs. We used to go there all the time when we lived over there. So here is the one he wasn't able to get. It's got PJs on the sleeve. Ah, see if I can do this. PJs coffee. And it's a bunch of coffee beans in the shape of Louisiana. So that's my t-shirt in the large. I still think it'll fit Larry, but he, you know, I, I guess he likes his t-shirts a little bit looser. And then the other one I got last time was the one that I really wanted, which was the tie-dye one that says PJ's Coffee. So I really love that one. It probably would fit him also, but you know, he's just saying that he needs the extra large, but so he didn't get that one, but when I ordered his t-shirt, I ordered myself the other one that they had for me. So who knows, maybe he'll get that one. All right, but they, like I said, everything was 30% off. So I did say, oh, look at the new cups that they have. Would you like one? And he said, well, yeah, of course, right? So I said, well, which color do you want? He's like, surprise me. Well, you shouldn't tell a lady, surprise me. I don't have a problem surprising you. But uh, I, I, I was gonna want one too. So I just got one of each. There was two colors, so I got both of them. And I'll let him decide which one he wants now that they're here. So they're the big um, the big cups with the, oh gosh, it's full of a, uh, I have to put this one back in the bag because I don't know which one he wants, but 
I think they're 40 ounce cups. So it says PJs, nice handle. It's got a bunch of uh, peanuts in it right now. And then here is the lid all wrapped up. Let's see if I can get this unwrapped. I'm guessing he's, pro uh, I don't know. I'm thinking he's gonna want the white one, but he might want the other one. Let's see. So, wow, these things are huge. Look at this thing. And does it, well, let's see. Let's see if I can figure out how the, if it does anything. Does it turn? Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't know why you'd want to turn it because it's still open. <laughs> you're either going to get like a little square or you could turn this black thing to go right over the hole and then it's a circle. I guess for the straw, like if you want to put a straw in it or if you want to drink it as a hot liquid like that. Oh, there you go. I get it now. <laughs> I'm a little slow. Uh, all right. But what I don't see is a way to like close it so that there's no opening. So one way or the other, it's going to be open. So this, mm, oh gosh. Oh, twist. I'm sitting here trying to push it on. It's a twist. All right. Nice big 40 ounce cup. Um, I'm thinking he could probably put it on, I think, hopefully it'll fit on his motorcycle and he could use it for when he's riding. Uh, let's see, the cup was in here. Sorry. Let me just, I'll wrap this up later. I'm just going to put it to the side for now, right here behind me. All right, so I got the white one. Here's the lid to the other one. And then the other one I got was in purple. And you don't know, you know, Mardi Gras is the big thing in Louisiana, in New Orleans specifically. And purple, green, and gold are Mardi Gras colors. But look at this purple. That is nice. Huge. I can't even get it all on the screen without coming way back here. Okay. All right, so that's the purple one. We'll see which one Larry wants. Um, I'm gonna put this on the floor. I'm running out of places to put things. All right, there's the lid. All right, what else did I get? Oh my gosh, I was like, what are these things? These are the straws. <laughs> wow. I was like, what are these rods to something? No, these are the straws. It's got the little piece right there that's supposed to keep it from going through the hole. These things are huge. Oh my goodness. But I guess it would need to be to, <laughs> to fit in here. Wow. Okay. Super cool. Super cool. Love that. Then here's the t-shirt that I got for me since I was getting him one. I thought I was getting him one. So I got myself the large. And this one says, easy does it. So, you know, New Orleans being the big easy right and then easy does it in terms of uh, how, i guess how much caramel and whipped stuff you put on your on your drink i don't know if you could see that i can't see the screen but okay so easy does it it's got pjs and what looks like dripping of like caramel and well i don't know what the purple's supposed to be but okay so this i think this will definitely fit him it's like really big over my past my shoulder length. This material on this one is really nice, very soft. It says 50% cotton, 50% polyester. It's got a very soft, soft feel to it. Love it. All right, and then if I'm in there getting that, I might as well get me some more coffee. And I, did, I didn't need more coffee, but I, I did get, because there was one in particular that I wanted to try, because it was uh, recently released, not too long ago. Sometimes they'll go away after a while. So not this one because I've had this one before and it's usually on the site. It's Viennese blend. It's a very nice, robust um, flavor to this one. So they have like, let's say plain coffees, right? And then they have flavored coffees. So the other one, the one I really wanted to get because I've never tried it and I think it's a limited time one. It's a flavored one and it is Bananas Foster. Have you ever had the dessert Bananas Foster? <sighs> wow. I'm hoping it's going to taste like Bananas Foster. Of course, that'll trigger me into wanting it, wanting that dessert. And since I'm doing keto again, I can't. 
but that doesn't mean I can't have the flavor in coffee, right? Oh my gosh. So that was the order, but I did want to show you a couple of things. Oops, don't drop stuff. Wanted to show you some of my favorite flavors that I have gotten from them before. In the flavored ones, um, this is probably has probably been one of my favorites from them of all time. And it's one that I used to get all the time when we lived over there and I specifically would get it as an iced coffee or the granita um and like in iced I don't need I don't need creamer I don't need sugar what's one of the only times that coffee I feel like I can drink it just as is and doesn't need anything and so this is one of my favorites it's southern pecan love southern pecan in their non-flavored, just like regular kind of roast, this is probably my favorite. It is Roast 35. Um, not like super bold, but it, I find it to be kind of bold, like somewhere between medium and bold, okay? I love it. I think it, it does wonderfully. Uh, brewed, it tastes great. It's almost one that I could drink without any kind of sweetener and stuff. And then... This is one, I'm surprised it's still on the site because it's usually, I used to find that it was only there for like a limited time, but I think it's still on the site right now. And that is King Cake. They have one, um, I'm waiting for it to come out at the end of this year. I think, I think this one is definitely a limited time one. There's one called Jingle Bells. Love, love Jingle Bells. I want to say Jingle Bells has like some cinnamon in it. So King Cake, Jingle Bells, love those. So as you can see, I have quite a bit of coffee. But, and I said, I am a coffee fanatic. So what I do to try to keep my coffee fresher for longer, um, I do have, I'm trying to show you a picture so that you have a better idea of um, our setup. Let me see if I can find a good picture. Yeah, this one will, this will work. All right, so the room, like if I walk out of here towards the front door, there's the front door, the foyer, and if I go straight across, there's another doorway, and that is the pantry, which when we bought the house was uh, set up as like a dining room. Well, our dining room table would never fit in there. It's, a, it's not a very big room. So we had used it as like a pantry for a long time. We used to have wire shelves in there and stuff. And it got so messy um, between, you know, buying a bunch of stuff and the kids would put things in there, you know, they'd want chips and ramen and, you know, just, there was just stuff everywhere. And so we had bought like little sliding bifold doors to kind of close off that pantry. And we figured at the same time we'd close off my Sensi room because sometimes this place is a disaster area too with all the wax and stuff that comes in. So you'll see in the picture that the sliding um, bifold door is still in the doorway because we haven't had an opportunity to change it. But we did change that room. We got rid of all the wire shelves and stuff and we put um, upper and lower cabinets on one side and only lower cabinets on the other side because on the other side we want to be able to put like... Um, the KitchenAid mixer and stuff like that. Stuff that you don't want to have to worry about height where, you know, oh, I can't, you know, one of my KitchenAid mixers is the kind that you lift the whole top. And yeah, if it's got a under, if you have cabinets above, it's, you know, I can't do that. So I wanted one side to have no upper cabinets. So on the other side, that's what we consider the coffee bar. And um, I took a picture so that you could see how serious I am about my coffee and how serious Larry is about his coffee. Ah, where are you going, picture? So here is a view, uh, let's see, of the pantry. There's a big glare from the light on the picture. So you can see I've got a coffee machine. I've got two coffee grinders. Then um, I think a, ke a tea kettle for, for water, for doing like uh, pour overs. And then our espresso cappuccino machine that we bought for each other as our anniversary present, I think on our 25th anniversary or something like that, we was like, we said, we're gonna splurge. We, you know, waited 25 years to buy one. And not that, not that they're like, there are some that are like, you know, thousands of dollars. This one's not that, but um, so yeah. So we, like I said, we have two coffee grinders. I use one for 
the coffees that don't have flavor and then the other one just for flavored coffees so that the oils from the flavors don't get in the one for the plain, right? So, and I don't know if you saw the, the bifold door there. Anyways, um, you know, if you watch my videos and you, you know that I love to blend, right? I love blending wax, trying different scents together, see how it does. Well, maybe what you didn't know is I've always been that way since I was a kid. I didn't like to eat one cereal. Like I would get my bowl and I'd pull out three boxes of cereal and I would mix the three cereals. And it was generally um, spoon size shredded wheat, uh, honey nut Cheerios and grape nuts. I'd put a little bit of each and that would be my cereal. So I've been, I've been blending since I was a kid. I, so much so I even got my husband <laughs> blending cereals now he got we got some keto cereal and uh, he mixes the two together <laughs> he's like you see what you got me doing now well I do it with coffee too I've got the two grinders so I'll grind some plain like the roast 35 and then I'll grind some king cake and I'll put them together in the in the filter and I'll make a pot of a combination coffee so love doing that so to try to keep my coffee fresh because i buy so much what i did was i have um i have one of those i don't know what they're called like seal meal things or whatever and i buy the pint size bags so i'll i'll semi fill the hopper to the grinder you know about three quarters of the way and that's about enough for maybe about a week, especially if I'm blending. That's about enough coffee for a week, maybe a little over a week. So there's usually quite a bit of coffee left in the bags. And I buy the whole bean. And they said that once you open it, it's supposed to last freshness, freshness wise. It's supposed to last about a week. Well, I want it to last longer than that. And I like to interchange. Like I might decide I want to do Southern Pecan. But once that you know, once the hopper's finished in the grinder for that, I might want to change and do something else and not do more Southern pecan. Maybe I want to switch to king cake or something like that. So I buy the pint size bags of the seal meal things and I put about one hopper's worth and then I seal it. So it keeps it fresh because it's airtight, right? So this one says PJ's English toffee. Did that one recently, love that. This one says PJ's Viennese blend. Can't really see that, but you see. And Maple Street, which is oh, another really great one. It's named after, uh, I think their original store was on Maple Street and we lived close to that one. So we used to go there all the time and get um, coffee or granita and stuff like that. And oh my gosh. So Maple Street, I like to always have that one too. So when I'm ready and the hopper's empty, I just open up one of these and fill the hopper up. And so I keep them fresh that way. And then talking about coffee, can't talk about coffee without the accompaniments, okay? So my newest, I tried this, I bought it from a company, it's called Chalk Zero. They sell keto products and basically products with no actual sugar in it and no uh, no aspartame or stuff like that. So they actually came out with a flavoring syrup for coffee and it's in the, uh, in the flavor vanilla and it says keto sugar-free. And I want to say it's all, it's made with monk fruit. So I use Chuck Zero's vanilla syrup. It adds a great flavor to the coffee. There's no weird aftertaste that I've always felt like I would get from the blue, pink, and yellow packets, right? I, I don't, I just don't like them. Um, so this I find does really well. It just needs, I mean, tiny splash and it will give the flavor and sweetness to your coffee that you would want. Well, while I'm at Chalk Zero and I'm buying that, they have other things. I am a sweet fanatic. I was watching Metallica Mom who has um, 
said that she's done keto before and I believe she's on a keto journey again and check out her video if you've never seen her. She's probably gonna do quite a bit of keto stuff and she has a background in um, health and fitness and stuff. So she's probably gonna have a ton of great information, but I just wanted to share. But she said that, you know, she's never been one that has like a sweet tooth, right? Well, yeah, I can't say that. I could relate to a lot of the other things that she said, but I'm like, oh no, no, I have a sweet tooth and I I enjoy in the evening saying, oh, I, I want a little piece of chocolate or I want a cookie or, you know, something, you know. And sometimes I feel like if you can't get that something that you really want, you're not gonna succeed, right? Because uh, I'm gonna get so frustrated that I'm gonna go out and buy myself a big chocolate bar or something and I'm gonna buy myself a big thing of regular cookies and I'm gonna enjoy that. And that's gonna defeat what I'm trying to do. So like with the syrup, I don't need regular sugar. I don't need the other kinds of syrup. I'm using the Choc Zero, I'm happy with it. So I also buy chocolates from them. Um, I've actually bought the cookies. It looks like the Danish butter cookies. Those are those were very good. They're they're I would say they're very dry, but they're good. Um, but my husband's favorite is the peppermint dark chocolate squares. So like if you like a like an Andy's mint or something like that, these are really really good. Um, again, the flavoring is great. They're I guess I think all made with. Um, monk fruit i believe let's see dark chocolate unsweetened chocolate un non-gmo resistant dextrin palm oil uh sunflower lecithin natural peppermint flavor glycerol monk fruit extract so i know that if you are super strict keto they will tell you don't don't have certain things like sunflower and that kind of stuff maybe or you know palm oil because it can be um inflammatory and stuff like that well i'm not gonna eat like the whole bag so i i don't notice that it's inflammatory to me and it satisfies a craving so for me it's it's the lesser of two evils it it satisfies a craving without me going hog wild on a big old thing of regular chocolate full of sugar so my favorite um uh, well hmm I have two favorites. They have the peanut butter cups in the keto, right? So they have like a dark chocolate, a white chocolate, and a milk chocolate keto, um, peanut butter cups. Love those. They're really, really good. I haven't really bought any chocolate from them. I did get something recently. I'm waiting on that order to come in. And that was more for Larry because it was a... Uh, Oh, I think they're like supposed to be like pecan clusters or something like that, chocolate covered. Um, so I got that for him. And so the peanut butter cups and this one that came out in the spring, I love it. It's keto bark, white chocolate, lemon cookie. And I'm, I've always been a dark chocolate lover, but you say lemon cookie? Yeah, I'm all over that. So. I pulled, I keep my chocolate in the refrigerator. I went and pulled this out about 10 minutes ago, so hopefully it wouldn't be super hard. So they're not very big, you know, and you have one or two of these and you're gonna feel satisfied. You're gonna clear yourself of the urge and um, move on. And it's, it's really not that huge. So here is the lemon cookie one. It says chalk zero. You can kind of see little like little cookie bits in the chocolate right there. And I tell you what, I've never been a white chocolate person. I like milk chocolate, but I love dark chocolate. I actually enjoy their white chocolate. And yeah, I don't have to break my teeth on super cool. This is so good. So good. You get that kind of tart lemon with the little cookie bits in there. Oh, it's making the clan work right there. Mm. I know you shouldn't be eating while you're making a video, but wow, that is good. I am so hoping that they bring these back out next spring, because I will definitely get more. I usually look for them to be on sale, because they're not, they're not the cheapest thing in the world, but mm, when you're trying to stick to something, 
Mm, that solid size. The urge. Anyways, wow, 24, almost 25 minutes. I just wanted to share this with you. Some t-shirts, some wonderfully huge cups with some massive straws. I can't even get it all on the screen. Look at that thing. Let's see. Hey. <laughs> and I have a big head. Um, huge. So my coffee, how I store my coffee so that it lasts longer, and some Chalk Zero products for anybody who's interested in keto or even if you're not into keto, if you just want to find ways to minimize the amount of sugar intake or the pink, green, pink, blue, and yellow packets because those aren't really good for you. Somebody might want to try to argue that this isn't either, but I, I don't think there's they've found any problems with these products. So it's just a way to cut back on some sugar if you're trying to find a, a new way. I find that that vanilla syrup in the coffee is really, really good. So anyways, check out PJs if you've never checked them out before. Again, I personally would suggest waiting for... I would sign up for like emails and that way you'll get an email when they have like a 30% off day or a couple of days kind of thing and take advantage of it then. But they have wonderful coffee and if you're a huge coffee lover like I am, you might want to check them out. So thanks for stopping by. Um, I truly enjoy you stopping by and checking out what I got. And until next time, enjoy your sense. Sorry, I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. It looks like a router. I wasn't talking to her. So yeah, my internet's down. Wait 10 seconds, then plug Anyways, in. have a great day. Ignore A-L-E-X-A. <laughs> and you just have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.